my new solar panel. A subscriber, an anonymous subscriber got me. Thank you, brother. It's called an iMars. It's at supposedly a 50 watt. It's more like, a, it's about the same as the, what was it, Gold Zero 28, Nomad 28 that I had a couple years ago. I guess that was last year. Last year I had it, but it didn't work. Because they usually don't last too many years. That one only lasts like a year or something. They usually mess up because the wires in between the panels on those fold up ones end up wearing kind of like how when you bend a, a paper clip back and forth and it breaks off. Eventually the wires end up snapping inside. So, um, yeah, this subscriber really helped me to find within that range um, I don't need anything more than that than uh, 28 to 50 watts and the most important thing is I need it to have a built-in USB port and um, the USB port um, basically came disconnected from the chip inside and there's no way of opening these boxes up this plastic box I had to use a razor blade it wasn't even new <laughs> I had to saw at it with a razor blade um, in order to cut open this box and have access to the loose USB connection that was just rattling around inside the box and then I got my tweezers and that's uh, been the solution for the last couple days all right the solar panel my subscriber got me I got a jerry rigged I was only able to keep it functional for a couple weeks for the wires on the back side of the box. Um, they, uh, one of them snapped from it teetering back and forth. Uh, just like a paper clip, how you bend a paper clip back and forth and it breaks. Um, that is the biggest weakness of all of the foldable solar panels. So I'm finding this solar panel Actually, my subscriber found this. Um, I was trying to find a solar panel that was the biggest solar panel that had a built-in USB port. It gets difficult to find any solar panels that have a built-in USB port when they get um, above 25 watts. Um, this is a che cheap um, solar panel. My friend, uh, subscriber, got it from off of Amazon for, it was like 50 bucks, super cheap. And I found it even cheaper. Uh, this one from uh, Banggood, it was only like $46. So the main drawback of this uh, solar panel though was the connection between the USB port and the chip, the microchip. And so some liquid nails. We're gonna fill it in, fill in the gap around the edge let it dry and that should take care of the weakness one weak point in the solar panel that should be all that's needed liquid nails once it dries is solid the foldable solar panels that have fabric um, encasing them. This is the exact same solar panel, it's just without the fabric casing and without the connecting wires that eventually break. And it's also without the alternative uh, glass encasement, so it's a lot lighter. Theoretically, this can last as long as the glass encased ones without any of the glass weight. This solar panel also stands out as perfect because it's literally the perfect size to strap to a backpack. Like a mount, a, you know, full full backpack, not a day pack, but a, a full 
mountain pack like that, you strap it to the back of that and it's not going to add anything to your, your profile when you're walking through the woods. So because this solar panel doesn't have a fabric or a glass um, cover, um, I'm actually going to make a felt, a wool felt cover for it. It's white. These solar panels are super sensitive to overheating, ironically, because they're used in the summer. It's weird. Um, as soon as they start to get over like 90 degrees or 8, um, I think it's even 80 degrees, they start to decrease in their efficiency. So the fact that they're all made out of black uh, has really dumbfounded me. I don't understand why they don't at least make the part that's not the actual solar panel white to help cool the edges of this, I don't know. Um, I'm going to use felted wool to encase it, encase the, the edges and encase the whole back. And then I'm gonna use my uh, squirt bottle to squirt it down uh, once or twice a day probably. And as the water is drawn off of the maximum surface space of this wool and draw heat out in the process from from the fabric and from anything that's encased in it. So I'm gonna make it an evaporative cooler solar panel that's gonna be much more efficient and not decline during the summer. I also love how this is the perfect length to slide under my bed. <laughs> 